I want you to think about defining your leadership in two ways. Probably all of you, raise your hand. Do you have that two-minute elevator speech that you know how to tell somebody to say, like, what do you do? Raise your hand. You got that, right? Okay, I do supply chain. I, uh, I know how to lead companies through innovation and creating um, an engaged workforce. It's a two-second elevator speech I can give to anybody, right? There's another piece that I've worked very hard at that I started about 10 years ago, and it's my personal leadership. And this isn't something I suggest you share with anybody, and I'll tell you why. I don't share it with a lot of people, but you're now going to get to hear it. It's what I stand for as a leader. I create joyful opportunities so that I can live life fully engaged. It's what I want to stand for as a leader and why. And the and why relates to what you get from your leadership, what you benefit from. I benefit because it helps me to be fully engaged in my life. Now, the reason I haven't shared this with any, many people, um, I made the mistake many years ago of sharing it with my husband. Um, the other day I was out on a cross-country ski with my husband in the back park. The weather was about five degrees since we've been having the worst winter ever. We were out for about two hours. I was starting to get blisters on my feet. It was getting close to lunchtime. And I'm starting to grumble. I'm like, why are we out here for so long? Can't we just go home? And my husband looks at me and goes, joyful opportunities. Right about then. <laughs> yeah, you got it, right? Right about then, I wanted to turn around and slug him. Um, so you might not ever share this with anybody. I certainly never did during my time period that I was the president of Kirk. I share it with you guys now because now it's a time for you guys to start to think about what does your personal leadership stand for? What type of a leader do you want to be and what do you personally get from it? 